tri-state earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Welcome to the first episode of The Outer Worlds. I mean, there's... There's a lot of reasons why I chose to do a series on this game, but the main reason, the very main reason I picked this one out is because, well, for my brother. When this game first came out, my brother, Kenny, Ashley bought this game for me for my birthday. And now that he passed away for a couple months now, I miss him dearly. And I will be playing this game in honor and memory of my brother. So, Kenny, rest in peace. I love you. I miss you. Now let's get to it. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Okay, so this strange man decides to get on this ship called the Hope. And takes one random person like with him. Bootlickers. Question is why? Initiate skip jump. Why would he need one person? What's his motive? Warp speed to safety. Ooh. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so what's going on? Ooh, I mean, I know the ship's been deserted oh, for... There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 70 Not years? That, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? 
Yeah, uh, how did I not die? Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Oh. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! So you're a wanted criminal who is helping me. I've been frozen. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, did I die? No, I didn't. I actually survived. Pretty surprised, but okay. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in the <gasps> is that him? Oh, oh no. Idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh my god, I landed oh, right on Lord, him. Why are you taking his ship? Better you than the board, huh? Okay, sure but I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh my god. He is so casual about this. Phineas, come on, man. But the thing is, though, I mean, look at it this way. I've been stuck on this ship called Hope, I, who ironically has been flowing in space for 70 years. This random person comes, picks me out of hundreds and hundreds of people, falls me out, and now throws me in to a whole new world. And I know what you're thinking. That sounds really familiar. It is. Basically, Obsidian is the same company who helped Badissa create Fallout New Vegas. And due to creative differences, they did not do Fallout 4, which has a similar beginning plotline, except Obsidian does a better job with explaining the finer details and has better continuity. And keep in mind, Obsidian's the Outer World actually sold a lot more copies than Fallout 76, so food for thought. Now, at this point, since Hawthorne is squished to death, I gotta go find the ship now. I gotta admit, the details are beautiful, very wonderful. The moon. Oh, jump over obstacles, okay. Oh, is that an iguana? Oh, this is cute. Now, I have a good feeling that even though it's all nice and quiet and stuff, it won't be nice and quiet for long. Use to go underneath obstacles and to sneak. You see, I like how they're giving me kind of like a tutorial, but it's not like the typical tutorial where they just pause everything and you have to like read so much, so... Simple directions, very easy to maneuver, like, this game is pretty good. Crouch, okay. Ooh. Already there's a dead person here? Okay, I'll take it. 
While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate comeback. So I assume this thug here got killed because something is around the corner. Question is, what is it? Oh, those things. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is so neat. So once you go into cover, even though you're in cover, the game likes to make the cover transparent so you have an easier time to maneuver and see. That's actually a really good detail. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay, this is cool. So let me just sneak over here. Looks like they're not alerted, and they look like they can bite my head off, so I'm not gonna, you know, test it, so. Okay, I managed to crawl into this cave safely. Ooh, what's going on? What is this? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Wow, that's amazing! I like how it addresses the possible side effects of what I've been going through. Huh, Fallout would never do that. Too much writing for them, I guess. Ooh. Oh! You have low health. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one. Okay, that's cool. So the health bar is on the upper left hand side, so at least I know if I'm good or not. Oh, okay. Friend or foe? Hey, you, come here. Okay, friend. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Oh. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Alright, so it definitely has the same new vegas style when it comes to the interaction which i definitely love all right so i'm i'm actually gonna read the, the interactions that i'm gonna pick so um medical five okay sit still i'll patch you up uh, looks like the bleeding stopped i owe you one hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help why? That's weird. If you're dying or in need of help, why wouldn't you? What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, let me see... I'll pick this one. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. 
I like how I'm just aiming at the gun like this. This is funny. So wait, I just noticed how even though this kid is dying, he keeps on giving me slogans and stuff. Like, are you serious? This, this sounds pretty weird. Like, the fact that you're dying and yet you're low-key still working? That's pretty... My ears. Sorry, Phineas. Oh, it's happening again. Okay, okay. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications steaming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. I just love how hardcore Obsidian is about continuity and making sure details make sense. Like, I love this. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving attacks drain it faster. Okay, that makes sense. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Some objects explode when hit, shoot them when enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. So like this? Oh! Oh shit! Wow! I have a better... Double click the jump button to dodge left, right, or backwards. Oh, this is cool! Okay. Ooh. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks, and bypass sh stunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many magpicks or stunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Okay, this is cool. Ooh, wait, let me pick up. Let me pick up. Okay, so this is actually pretty neat. Like, a game where it's so easy to maneuver a gun, so easy to just maneuver in general. Like, this is nice. And thank God this is how you lockpick, because I just hate... I hate how you lockpick with Skyrim or Fallout 4 or New Vegas, because that shit's just annoying. You have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between the weapons you have equipped on the inventory. Corpses and containers hold items that you can take. You can take one or take them all. Your directional buttons switch between. Okay, so I'll take that. This is cool. I actually enjoy this. Oh, I see more of them. Oh, man, that's crazy. Ha! Oh, look at him. He has a gun. That's cute. And you have slow motion, too, along with cinematic shots of you killing people. This, this is a good game so far. I love it. Huh, and for a game that came out a couple years ago, the graphics are actually pretty good. It is aging pretty well, so I'm impressed. Is that friend or foe? Maybe I should just not point a gun hey, at them. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay, that's a friend. So let me just go over here. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. Not impressed. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. 
Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh, let me see. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. <laughs> Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Damn, okay. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Damn, this is... It's been a long time since I played this game, but I miss it already. Alright, let me see if there's any other bodies I can find that I can just steal. Because I love salvaging stuff and people. Okay, so it looks like everyone's dead, right? Right? Yeah. Everyone's gone, I guess. Do I really have to hold the gun awkwardly like that, though? I mean, that's like the funniest part. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Alright, so while you do that, let me just get in here. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. Thanks for that. So I assume this is the... access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Submit myself to authorities Hello. please be informed that i am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors okay please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction i'm not here to misappropriate anything i detect an elevated heart rate indicating dishonesty what? Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Lethal? Testing procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, Am I three, gonna die? Two, one. Is something supposed to be happening? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Thank you. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? 
Yeah, Ada. I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Oh, level two already? Okay, so let me take a look at the D-pad here. Oh, we've been promoted. I like that. Level up. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Wow, that's interesting. Because compared to Skyrim or Fallout, you get skill points every level. Whereas with this game, you get it every two levels, which means you need to actually, actually be careful with what skills you want to pick. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Okay. Anti-Cleo management training skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of these specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. And yes, that is my character in the background. I already did my skill points from the beginning and all that stuff. I just wanted to get that out the way. Um, I got... Okay, so... Let me take a look. Auntie Clear Specialized Management Seminars Selecting Perks. Welcome to Perk Selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Alright, obviously I'm going to pick the toughness so I can actually get more health, so. Not bad. And in terms of the points, I'll say I'll do more dialogue. And then I'll do more tech. And let me do some leadership. There you go. Auntie Clear knows friends make everything better. Companion abilities. You can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Nice! You have unlocked a dialogue comeback skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Nice. I like this. Very easy menu. Okay, this is nice. Weapon management. Yeah, it's like... Okay, and this is where the main quest is at. Alright, so let me go and find the power regulator. Nice. Very easy menu to maneuver, so this is pretty good. Say... This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't... Should I lie? <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. She fell for it. I'd like to speak with my manager. I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. All right, so Edgewater is the town I need to go. So, with that being said, let's head on out. 
thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.